morning. Yesterday we drove down to, well, we're near Gainsborough, we've come to a place called Sunflower Park. Um, we were all meant to be at Whitby, but the weather the last few days has absolutely destroyed um, the access into the field. So rather than all go and get stuck and live in a world of mud, we decided to call it a day um, and go somewhere else. So that's what we've done. So we're now in part of what I believe is the Sherwood Forest. I will confirm that. We're just out for a little walk with Bill. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and it's absolutely lovely. A bit misty, but um, I've just got a fleecy on and my shorts and it's really nice, but I think they're doing some forestry work, so I think I might have to turn round. Let me show you. It looks like they're felling all this here and our lovely path is just about to turn into a mud bath. Yeah. What should we do? Should we... Which way do you want to go? Come on then, let's have you. Which way do you want to go? That way? What do you reckon? Should we head up that way? Back the way we come? Come on. Right, I'm going. Come on. You're coming. You're coming. <laughs> come on, you take the lead. Have you ever come down here? <laughs> Strongly recommend going for a walk in the woods. It is beautiful. Bizarre things just happened. Squirrels just fell out the tree and landed literally three feet away from us with a thud. Boom. Got up, ran off. Me and Boo just stood looking at each other. Really bizarre. I've never, well, obviously, they fall out of trees, but I never thought, well, I'd never considered a squirrel falling out of the tree before. Oh well, you live and you learn. It's just so peaceful and quiet here. Well, we've got to a point where the road goes off up a hill and uh, looks a little bit muddy and I want to have trainers on to be honest, so I think about two three miles into the woods, so I'm going to head back now and uh, time for breakfast, I think. But this is beautiful, this is really, I love, I'm properly chilled out, proper loving this, have a look. That's my walk back. It's like this, all the way back. <laughs> Something good to be said about getting out in the country, people. Good for the soul, good for the noggin too. Entrance to Sunflower Park. The rescue animals here as well, so there's geese, there's ducks, there's pigs, there's all sorts here, there's uh, goats, there's like a little cow down there. But all around the site, there's little walks through and you can actually go and feed the animals and uh, spend some time with them. Some nice seating areas around by the pond. Geese are keeping an eye on the job. Oh, look at all the mushrooms, bizarre. <laughs> Some Indian runners. Hello. <laughs> Took any <in> the breakfast? <laughs> Hello. Wow. Thank you.
I want to see you on that trampoline this afternoon, okay? <laughs> it's just about destroyed. Hello. Good lad. <laughs> All the way around the place, there's lots of little things like this. Just hidden in the woods. Butterflies. Little Christmas things. Over in the tree there. We have these here. These are for all the little animals that have passed. So, when they pass, what they do is they come round here, this area, and scatter their ashes, apparently. So, not only do they like look after them in life, they take care of them afterwards as well. I think something's been scattered there recently. You know, showers and toilets, there's somewhere to wash your stuff. Um, dog wash, drinking water, and shop. A gift shop as well. Close well. Okay. The shop's in there. Cool. You alright, Paul? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a calf there, Alice. Mm -hmm. Not tidy. Mm -hmm. It even has its own little well stocked bar. So you can hire a fire pit, you can buy your logs, and it's not badly priced either. So, this is where we're staying this weekend, and uh, I, I like it. Hey there. <laughs> well, you're a good looking thing, aren't you? Nice. Hello, my little friend. How are you? Shrek and Donkey on another whirlwind adventure. Anyone patted? Hello, you. What are you licking? That tastes good. Three amigos. Me. Not having it. So this morning, that's where we're camped. Me. <laughs> and the donkeys were, I don't know what they call it, but they were making such a racket this morning. Get some new friends. Hi. Meet a new pal. Hello. Can I say hello? Nope. What's your beef? Huh? What's your beef? You're trying to get over? You come for a quiddle? <laughs> These bonkers. Bonkers. I like this place. There's only a few of us here. It's Friday, two o'clock. Um, there's still a lot more people to come. And this is, this was arranged last minute. We were around 40 vehicles, and we're gonna get them 40 vehicles on 
but uh, yeah, it's been just for something last minute. We were all supposed to be, be you know that, but with the weather, we've decided to knock it on the head because it was just a mud bath. It's, it's a little bit moist, a little bit wet round here. We won't use that word because it upsets people. But yeah, this is this is a good little thing. Yeah. Lots of animals to see, lots of walks to go on. I spent ages up in the woods this morning. You saw that. It's proper chilled out. But there's lots of little things all the way around the side. Like this. This is an area where you can go and walk your dog. Nearly fell over there. Little llama face. <laughs> dog exercise only. The main highlight for Friday was the Dave and Shell cook his beautiful beef stew. The smell just wafted through the air all day. Everybody was ready for this when it was made. It went down an absolute treat. Everybody went back for second. Raise it that way. Excuse me, awkward chef. That was the best stew I've ever tasted, apart from Nana Hardy's. <laughs> oh, just about to ring me mother. <laughs> Sam filmed it. Oh, oh, oh that is a good chef. Oh, it's really nice, thank you. <laughs> oh, well done. And your nan don't cook it over a fire for five hours. I know, you've not been to my mum's house. Woo! One more, come on! <laughs> one more! <laughs> There's Robbie. There's one frog in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the song that we did with that I know my good friend Ian likes. Ian's been so great to me this year. Uh, I played my first gig here with Mandy as well. Um, Mano of course from both. Um, and it's been a really great time and honestly I can't thank them enough. So this is a song called Maybe It's Time that I know that Ian likes. Uh, it's yeah, let me go home and rehearse it first. It's the fire in the rain It's the smile within the pain It's the logic but insane You cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door It's the figure on the wall So many times I heed the call It's the silence of the room The way you turn before you bloom Another shadow for the blind I think I'm gonna lose my mind Saturday morning, just popped out for another walk with Boo in the woods. These woods are really nice, really, really enjoy them. Very peaceful. Main road there today, so we're just walking along the edge of the forest. Um, I just love it. <laughs> I really do like this place. I say that about everywhere I go, but suppose when you find things that make you happy, you do like them. So, Sunflower Park, brilliant site, um, six acres. Um, spoke to the owners yesterday, and this was kind of one of their retirement dreams. Both disillusioned with the jobs that they were doing, just thought, why wait till we retire? Let's just go and do this now. And that's what they've done. They've created like a little 
sanctuary haven for animals that need looking after and it works the run of honesty um, shop down there so whatever you buy you make a record of or a list of and you settle up when you're ready or you compare if there's somebody there same with the fire pits um, and the wood I think it's a brilliant idea it's you know it gives you a little bit of faith in the world doesn't it that there's things happening out there where trust is still part of it and uh, I'm gonna crack on with my walk it's beautiful Look. and when we get back later on this afternoon it's time for Halloween we're all gonna get ready and dress up Halloween is all about taking part, getting dressed up, decorating your van, decorating the event shelters, and just joining in the fun. The fact that everybody made such an amazing effort made this one of the best Halloween nights ever. It's a bloody full moon as well. Every year at this event, Gareth and Mandy hold a raffle to raise money to support and look after the animals. This year, they raised over 300 quid, so well done everybody. Well, we've had a brilliant weekend um, at Sunflower Park, absolutely loved it. We'll be going back at some point, but as we're leaving, we've just found this lovely little um, cake stand on the side of the road, cake and jams. So, we're going to visit Lee and Kerry, we're going to get them a present. On the way at. So, 450. Um, Victoria sponge, look at that. Um, feel the, like, I'm going to say feel the weight. You can't feel the weight, but you can hear it. Listen, that is a proper, proper cake. Anyway, done our bit. Off we go. Why not head over and check out our new website, www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group, The Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.